x equals negative 3. We divide by 5, and we get x equals negative 3 fifths. Raise your hand if you got x equals negative 3 fifths. Okay. The other one, basically the same idea. We're just solving our equation here. We get 4, get rid of the smaller variable, equals x minus 1. We add 1 to both sides. We get 5 equals x. We get our two equations. How many we got that? Feel okay with it? So the idea is basically the same. We set 1 equal to the equal to our expression in there, just like we did before. We have 1 equal to the negative of that. Tina? What did you do to make, I mean, the 2x first? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. This is negative 3x. Yeah, you get a smaller one okay. there. Okay, let's take a look at one more problem. Now, on this one, your first step, of course, is going to be to make how many equations? Two. 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 The first one. Tell me the first two. equation, please. Equals what now? Okay, and somebody else, what's the second equation? Tell me what I'm going to write. Equals? Perfect. Exactly right. We have 1 equal to the, the expression itself. We have 1 equal to the negative of the inside of the absolute value. We solve both of them. On this case, we'll have add x to both sides. Notice we're adding x. We get 2x plus 2 equals 4. Are you with me still so far? We subtract 2, we get 2x equals 2, we divide by 2, and we get x equals 1. If you wanted to check that, you'd get 3, you'd get 3, absolute value 3 equals absolute value 3, we're good to go. Not to have you're with me on this part. Good. Now the next part. We have x plus 2 for sure. We get negative 4, what else do we get? Plus x. Okay, you get rid of your smaller variable. What's your smaller variable? X. Wait a second. Okay. You know you subtract x, right? Absolutely. Wait a minute. You get two. Wait a minute, that's weird. I get rid of my x's. Is this a true statement? Yeah. No. No, it's not a true statement. What this says in this case is that you only have one solution. This isn't the solution. You even got you eliminated your x's. So this one gives you nothing. You only have one in this case. So this is one of those instances where you do get one solution, is in this case. It happens, I'm, I'm guessing you can see it if I give another one on the board in our last like 10 seconds here. If you took a look at this one, could you see that you're only going to get one solution out of this? Because in one case, you sure you're going to get the x minus 2 equals 8 minus x. This one's going to give you a solution. However, when you do x minus 2 equals negative 8 minus x, and you get x minus 2 equals negative 8 plus x, look at how those x's are going to simplify out of this expression. This one's going to give you no solution. This one will give you just one solution, whatever you're going to get out of that. How many of you have we talked about today feel okay with this? Good, that's fantastic.